All right, for this video today, we're gonna do a, something a little bit different. I'm actually going to speak about lag and preparation for the actual kill event. This is a topic that a lot of people have been curious about because lag and getting kicked out is a, is a major obstacle for traps and it sucks for us because if we get lagged or kicked out at the wrong time, it could be really over for us really, really fast depending on the situation. So I'm gonna give you guys a few pointers on how to deal with the lag and how to be prepared for anything that's going to happen during during the kill event so you won't lose your troops or you, you won't get hurt or something like that the first pointer um that i that i want to give everyone is i i usually update the application the game of war application on my ipad and my phone whichever device that i'm playing at at the time i want to make sure that i update it because i want it to be running as smoothly as possible so if you have the newer update it's easier for it to run as smoothly as possible the next pointer i this is something that my leader taught me he actually mailed us and he told us all that if we delete our reports it, the game will lag a lot less and it's it's actually been working for me ever since he he told me that a few months back i always right before the kill events i delete all my reports so my mail is in my mailbox is in all crowded and stuff and that actually has been helping me out a, a ton like every 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 device that i do it on it works out perfectly fine for me so i always delete the reports and and the game is running really smoothly for me when that happens before I port to a new kingdom. I actually scan the map like because I want the I want the game to like load the whole screen to to show the cities and monsters or whatever is around in the area because if it if you give it a chance to load up then let's say when you teleport it won't it won't have to load up again and you won't have to wait for that. So I usually scan the map a little bit. I let it load up by itself and once I see that it, everything looks like it's in place, then I then I actually port into a new kingdom. So basically, I'm giving the game time to to adapt to to something that my phone or my iPad hasn't seen yet. So that's that's something a lot of people don't do, but you should do. So it can help you out with the with the lag time or getting kicked out. For this next pointer, outside of the game, I tend to actually play with two devices, maybe even three sometimes, because <laughs> I have I actually have two phones, so. I usually play on my iPad and then I have my two phones ready, both of them with logged in into the same account that I'm playing with, the same trap account, whichever one it is at the time. I have all three devices or two devices, I have them all logged in. So in case when I'm playing on the iPad and I, for some reason it starts to lag and I can't do anything, I just log in into the phone really quickly so I don't have to type in my password again and then I, it just like, it saves me, it gives me time to like, recuperate from whatever is going on in the situation if i got hit twice i can just move away or shield up or whatever so always i always play with multiple devices i want to be ready just in case i don't want to i don't want to get lagged out or something and then then i can't do anything because i'm only playing with one device so two devices is always clutch if you have two devices try to play with both of them at the same time that will help you out and keep them charged up because I have this bad habit of not charging them. <laughs> and then I always see, oh, low battery on my iPad or low battery on my phone. So that's, that's not good. So if you're gonna use two devices, have them charged up for sure, for sure. <laughs> for this next pointer, I like to um, actually restart my Wi-Fi box before the kill event because there's been a lot of times that actually my Wi-Fi box has been my enemy and it's, it's kicked me out because the Wi-Fi just drops and that's been like terrifying for me. like. You guys don't understand. Once I see my, my Wi-Fi box just go crazy, I'm like, oh, man, not again, not again, not again. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I try I try to have that reset it also because I don't want that being another obstacle while I'm playing. So that's also part of my prep for the kill event. That's outside the game. I don't know. If, that's something you might want to do if you want to if you want to try something else, just in case your your Wi-Fi box decides to act up. I don't know if that's happened to anyone before. But if, if it has, you know, you feel my pain, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> the, getting kicked out by the Wi-Fi box is the worst. <laughs> this next pointer, um, actually before I get comfortable, before I actually start playing or anything at all, 
before I get on that couch right behind me, uh, <laughs> cause I usually play sitting down on that couch. But yeah, before I get on the couch to start playing, I usually like set a goal for myself on how many kills I want to get or how many points I want to score for the Alliance. And I set that goal and I tell myself, because if you set a goal for yourself, it's easier for you to try to push for that, to strive to, to get to whatever number it is. Usually I have a crazy goal in mind that I know I can't reach, but I still want to try to reach it. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you guys what's my goal, but <laughs> but it, it's a pretty crazy goal. But regardless, um, you have to be comfortable with with your setup. You you have you have to have confidence in it because if you're confident in your setup, um, it, it changes the way you play because you'll take better risk risk that you should be taking. You won't hesitate to take them if you're not confident in your setup. Uh, you will hesitate to take risks and then you you will miss out on easy points You don't want to miss out on easy points. You want to be comfortable. You want to be confident um, Most of the time when people ask me if their setup is ready or whatnot I tell you straight up. I, I don't lie to people. I don't tell them. Oh, you're ready when you're really not I tell you no, no sit out this this kill event. So if I tell you you're ready just just go for it Don't be scared. Um, just know your limits. Just know where to stop so you definitely wanna you wanna be comfortable. You wanna be confident because if you're confident, you can do whatever you want. That that goes um in general like for anything you do. You can as long as you're confident in your in whatever you're doing, you're you're gonna do extremely well. So be confident, guys. Don't be scared. Just straight up, just straight up go and, go and do it. And just tear it up, man. <laughs> One thing I, I like to tell people is uh, be relaxed when you're playing. Um. If you're relaxed, man, you can do whatever you want. Like, as a trap, you have to be relaxed. You can't be stressed out. You can't be scared. Honestly, I used to be scared when I first started trapping, but it was a weird type of scared. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I was like scared, but excited scared. I don't know if you, any of you guys ever experienced that, but yeah. But after a while, I started getting more confident. After a few hits, you get more confident in your thing. After you know your limits, you it, it comes easy to you. And it's just fun after a while. It's no reason to be scared or nervous or whatever your anxiety or I don't know what you guys feel when you're trapping. But after the first few hits, you guys should be fine. So trust me. I hope these pointers today I helped you guys out to prepare for the next kill event. I think the next one is uh, 10 ways, so it's going to be pretty crazy. It's going to be pretty awesome. I'm going to get a whole ton of footage for you guys. <laughs> um, let me know uh, what type of videos you guys want to see in the comments below. Just let me know if you want to hear stories about when I first started trapping, if you want to... Uh, different types of things you want me to explain to you guys whatever you guys want to hear just feel free to let me know in the comments i'm thinking about starting a story time i've mentioned this before and you guys seemed open with the idea let me know if you guys want a, a random story here here and there not not all the time but whenever whenever you want me to throw down a random story for you guys uh definitely there's gonna be a lot of footage from the killer man as soon as it happens that that those are my favorite videos to make honestly i love i love making kill event videos it sucks that we didn't have a kill event last weekend but i'm still gonna pump out a few videos for you guys before this kill event so wait on those if you haven't joined the jack rabbit trap room in the game join the jack rabbit trap room um guys i'm actually out of pm spaces so uh, just mail me i will answer uh, i always answer whatever mail you guys send me and if you need an invite to the line room, just um, send me your ID, uh, mail me your ID, and I'll get you in the room, or someone else will get you in the room, and we can all share information, help each other out. That room is extremely helpful. Both both rooms are extremely helpful. Like, I've met a ton of people, and you guys are, like, you guys are the bomb. You guys help me out a ton, because I'm, I'm also learning from you guys. It's not just a one-way thing. I'm learning from you guys, you guys are learning from me, and we're all helping each other be better because I don't know it all myself. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sit here and say I know everything. I don't know everything. I'm still learning how to play the game. I'm still getting better every day. So that's 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 an awesome thing about the room, and I wanna thank you guys for making that room so, so amazing. <laughs> Once again, I just wanna say thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up leave your comments down there and stay tuned to the next video stay awesome guys and long live the jackrabbits peace